A few weeks ago, you saw us harvest our own crawfish out at Crawfish Haven. We're here in Kaplan with the owner, Barry Toops. Now, this isn't just a place you can come out and harvest your own crawfish. It's also a bed and breakfast. Correct. Yes. And you like to make a crawfish breakfast. So that's what mm -hmm. we're going to be doing today. And what's something people can try when they come out here? Well, what we, what we have here is the leftover crawfish from the night before. And we peeled them. And then we're going to make a crawfish omelet with this this morning. So we're here in the kitchen at Crawfish Haven and we're making a crawfish omelet with berry tubes. What do we do? First thing we're going to do is take the onions and saute the onions. We've got a little bit of olive oil in the pan that's already heated up. Get these nice and tender. Now, while these are heating up, tell folks what else they can experience when they come out here. One of the things we do here that we offer is Cajun cooking classes. We'll, we can cook anything Cajun you want, sauce picots, gumbos, etouffees. So a Yankee like me or anyone else can come down here, get your dose of Cajun cooking, and learn how we do it in the South. Exactly. Correct. And it's not that hard. It's just different seasoning. And uh, we're using some of the crawfish that was harvested prior to this. You know, the ones that maybe we couldn't eat them all. Our eyes were bigger than our mm -hmm. stomachs. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got these browning up. We always boil a little extra. A little bit extra because you can do a lot with crawfish. That's correct. What's the most favorite thing people like to make when they take these Cajun cooking classes? What's the most popular dish? Gumbos and etouffees. Well, tell me a little bit more about if folks want to book, how do they get a hold of you if they want to make a reservation here? Well, you can go online. Uh, crawfishhaven.net is one of, one of uh, the ways of finding us. But if you Google crawfish excursions, you can Google crawfishing in Louisiana, and we're usually the first one to pop up. And you're probably on Facebook, too. We are on Facebook. So how much crawfish do we have left over here? We probably got about a pound here, but we're gonna do just uh, we're gonna do one egg right now, so we're only gonna saute a little bit. Okay. But not now. So we've sauteed our onions and heated up our crawfish, whisked and seasoned the eggs. Coming up, we're going to throw it all together right after the spray. So we've got a hot pan and we've got all our uh, ingredients mixed up and ready to go. This is where the tricky part comes in because, like myself, a lot of my omelets turn into scrambled eggs with toppings. So right. we let it firm up a little bit, let the eggs get a little bit of uh, identity here. And we take our delicious Louisiana crawfish, and once this firms up, we're going to put these in. It'll be a hearty omelet, and the sure. onion as well. Just keep it in the middle. It doesn't Looking brown. Mm -hmm. The anticipation. Oh, oh, no! We got a little bit too much crawfish on this one. Never such a thing. It's just an extra large omelet. And if it's not an omelet, it's going to be scrambled eggs with deliciousness inside. i got to grab a plate. There we go. And it's a little bit full here, and I'm just going to slide it onto the plate. Might open a little bit because we have so much crawfish, but hey, for a first try, not too bad. You can make this out at the camp. I think all your friends and family will enjoy it. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I think pretty good for the first try. You did a good job. Yeah, it's filled with crawfish from start to finish, five ingredients, about five minutes. You can't beat it. Now the true test. It looks delicious, it smells good, and you got your leftovers. Get that crawfish in there. Oh yeah, delicious. Make it at your camp or for friends and family. Mm -hmm.